The day after the crash, they find their account of what caused the accident under question. Lightning, notionally, I should, at least, should not affect a very powerful North Sea helicopter. This is the first time I can re recall a lightning strike having ended up with this kind of conclusion. The experts are skeptical of the pilot's story. No helicopter is known to have crashed into the North Sea because of lightning. Perhaps there had been some mechanical failure. There are even rumors of pilot error, of recklessly flying into storm clouds. The evidence to support their story was now beneath the waves with 5-6 Charlie. The Air Accident Investigation Branch, Britain's air crash detectives, begin searching for the truth. It may look like a rig, but the state dive is actually a ship, mostly used for surfacing oil platforms. A day after the accident, the state dive is brought in to find and raise the missing helicopter from the bottom of the North Sea. The investigation gets off to a good start. Within a day, the television cameras on board the state dive's two submersibles locate what's left of 5-6 Charlie on the seabed. But raising it is a different matter. They carry on working into the night. Soon, several pieces of 5-6 Charlie have been recovered, but still not the vital clue, the missing tail rotor. Ed Trimble was the AAIB's lead investigator. But the big problem was to recover the tail rotor assembly. Without that, the investigation was literally going nowhere. We knew that the tail rotor assembly uh, had been dangling over the side of the pylon as the helicopter had ditched and it therefore detached at some point between the ditching and where we had caught up with the main wreckage. Keeping the state dive going would be costly. Ed Trimble calls his boss. He was fairly skeptical of our chances. Uh, he asked what I thought our chances were of finding the uh, tail rotor, and I, being an eternal optimist, I said 80%. To which he replied, I think you'd be very lucky if you've got a 10% chance of recovering uh, the tailboard assembly in the North Sea. Ed Trimble stays up all night, relentlessly monitoring the underwater cameras. I didn't want to be in a situation where uh, we would have missed any evidence of further wreckage, and in particular, uh, any um, parts of the tailboard assembly. Go get yourself a coffee, Eddie. By the time uh, 8 o'clock was looming, I decided to go down to the galley to uh, get a coffee. And I couldn't have been away any more than maximum seven to 10 minutes when I suddenly heard these tremendously excited shouts from uh, our team. Yes, your window <laughs> As I walked in, I ran in, there and smack in the middle of the screen was the whole of the tail rotor assembly. And even at the first glance, I could see that one of the tail rotor blades showed clear evidence of a lightning strike. The crew was right. The submarine's cameras revealed telltale burn marks on the tail rotor blade. A close look at the wreckage on the deck reveals that two of the main rotor blades were also struck by lightning. <laughs> 